Hey, Jimmy, are you ready to go? Oh, I've set to travel. Me and Leval had a lot of trouble getting this bag packed. See how the car looks? I shined her all up this morning. Well, it looks like automobile now. Put your bag right in the back there, and we're all ready to go. Well, what's all this, Junk? You got the whole back of the car filled up. Well, it's our stock of tire pullers. That's what we're going to make all our money out of on this trip. We're going to sell them all over the United States. Looks like you got enough for Canada and South America, too. Come on, get it, Jimmy. Let's get started. I said goodbye to my grandma. Gee, she hated to see me go. She don't know how lucky she is. I bet her arms wore out turning pancakes for you. Gee, Jimmy. Hey, you should not have slammed that door that way. It ain't so strong, you know. All right, I'll remember. Go on. Hey, did you get the paper? Huh? Did you get the paper? What the... Oh, oh, the paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Here it is. Well, read it. I want to listen and give it a lot of talk. Well, we read it over yesterday when we signed it. Read it again. That guy might have stuck in a couple of commas or something and changed the whole minute of the thing. Oh, well, all right. Uh, here. It says, uh, it says, uh, no all men by days present. Christmas already. What? That guy ain't giving us no presents. Oh, that don't mean that, Jimmy. I seen that before. That means... Oh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, no all men by these presents that for and in consideration of the sum of one dollar U.S. gold coin... We never give him no dollar. Hey, that's right, we didn't. We're in a buck. We certainly are. Well, one dollar U.S. gold coin. It is hereby agreed between John W. Frost, party of the first... Nobody give us a party. Party of the first part, and James Gleason and Robert Armstrong, party of the second part. Hey, look here, Jimmy. Why should we be party of the second part? Because we ain't a frost. Go ahead, never mind that. We won't crab that. That the party of the first part agrees to sell corner lot number six in track 22 of Harper District for $2,000 cash on or before one year from date of this option. Is it dated? Huh? Oh. Yeah, it's dated. All right, go ahead. It is mutually understood and agreed that the said lot is to be improved by a modern service station. Super service station? Modern super gasoline service station with grease rag. With grease rag. On the grease all the time. Shows you what kind of a mug he is. Why do we don't mention the color of our uniforms? Oh, yeah, Jimmy. I was going to talk to you about our uniforms. Well, we'll go into that later. Yeah, all right. Uh, that the parties of the second part must survey enough gasoline station... Survey? What do you mean, Jimmy, survey? Oh, you get a kind of a telescope gag and you look toward it. And oh, but it. Jimmy, we ain't surveyors. We couldn't do it. Well, that. never mind. Go on, go on, go ahead. Oh, all right. Uh, where was I? Oh, survey enough gasoline stations to ensure... Now comes the insurance clause. I knew he'd have that in. To ensure making the venture a success. <laughs> that shows you. He don't trust us. Oh, Jimmy, you and me don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, it is agreed that the parties of the second part shall not involve themselves in any scandal, morally or financially. Uh-huh. Am I burned up at that? There's that morality clause. What does he think we are, a couple of bums? I'm sorry I ever signed it. Oh, now, look, Jimmy, you should not have get sore about that. Mr. Frost means well. Is that so? Now, look, we're going to be honest, ain't we? Of course we are. Uh, we're going to do right, ain't we? Certainly. That's, that's why... Well, if we're going to be honest... We shouldn't ought to have no objections to admitting that we are on paper. Now, ain't that right? All right, let it go. Maybe you're right. Go ahead. Well, let's see. Uh, when did I stop? Uh, oh, yeah, here. It's a mutually agree. Second part. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, are to act as traveling representatives to sell that certain invention of the party of the first part known as the frost tire puller. You might know he'd have that in. Well, that's okay, Jimmy. Ain't that how we're going to make the $2,000? You know, $2,000 is an awful lot of money. Yeah, we work a year. We earn 2000 At the same time, we, we make 3000 for him. Then we give him our 2000 for his lot. And he's got the whole 5000 It's a swell deal for Frost. But, Jimmy, we'll have the lot. We couldn't build a service station without having a lot to build it on, could we? Well, let it go. Let it go. We signed it. It's the best we could do. Go on. Go on. Well... It is further understood that if the parties of the second part furnish sufficient proof of their business ability... I suppose we should ought to bring back all our customers and prove to them in person. Business ability and $2,000 in cash, the party of the first part will remove his objections to the suit of Robert Armstrong. Ah, uh, that don't mean nothing. He, he, you don't have to read that. Well, let me read it, will you, Jimmy? Well, it don't mean nothing. Do you want to read it? Go on, go on. You're doing swell. His objections to the suit of Robert Armstrong for the hand of his daughter, known in these pr presents as Elizabeth X. Frost. That's pretty good, ain't it, Jimmy? I made him put that paragraph in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're a bright guy. Yeah. What? You're a bright guy, all right. Now you're hung. Now you're hung. What do you mean, Jimmy? 
You're going to tour the United States, young fella, and there's a hundred million girls you're going to see. Yeah, but there ain't any like Elizabeth. All right, fold up the paper and give it to me. Oh, I'll carry it, Jimmy. I'll carry this paper. I don't trust you. Now, let's get going. All right, let's get started. Slide over. I'll do the driving. Oh, gee, we're really going. Oh, boy, am I excited. We'll shoot right down Brunswick Avenue and out to the highway. Hey, ain't this swell? Get out of the way, fella. Hey, look, Jimmy. I promised to drive past Elizabeth's house and wave goodbye. Will you turn down here and go past the house? Have I got to look at that old mug again? Oh, Jimmy, you shouldn't talk about her like that. I was talking about her old man. Oh, he won't be there. He's down at his real estate office. Look, Jimmy, she's going to be in a window waiting for us to drive by. Will you please go past the house so I can wave to her? All right, all right, all right. I'll drive by. But I'm going to go right by. I'm not going to stop and hunt the horn. All right, Jimmy. Hey, the motor's missing. Well, it was there this morning when I was cleaning her up. Missing, I tell you. Twenty-five bucks you pay for this car, and right away one cylinder missing. Well, it sounds all right to me, Jimmy. Thirteen bucks more than we should ought to have paid for it. And it don't run right. Turn here. This is the street. All right, I was going to. This is it. There's the house, Jimmy. She was going to be in that front window, but I don't see her. What are we going to do if she isn't there? I'll probably faint dead away. Well, she might be at the telephone. If she ain't there, we'll back up and investigate. I can't see her yet, Jimmy. She promised to be there. Well, what do you expect me to do, stop and honk the horn? Gee, do you suppose she forgot? No, no, there she is. There she is. Oh, gee, ain't she pretty? She's waving. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Go- What's the matter, Jimmy? It stopped. That's what's the matter. It stopped. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Look, Jimmy, she's waving back to me. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Why don't you start the car, Jimmy? Well, give me a chance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Elizabeth. What's the matter with it, Jimmy? I gotta crank it. We try that spark for me. What? Pull out that gadget. Oh. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye. See you next year, huh? I'll write you every day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Jimmy, will you please start the car? Uh, pull out the chuck with her. Oh, yeah. Why don't you crank it, Jimmy? Goodbye, Elizabeth. All right, come out and crank it yourself, and I'll say goodbye, Elizabeth. Well, I'm coming. You get in. There she goes, there she goes, Jimmy. Throttle her down. Come on, get in, and uh, never mind her waving. All set. Oh. Oh, gee, we're off. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye. Don't forget to write me. You know the route. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye. Goodbye.